Hello and welcome to Alex Attempts Tabletop. Today I'm going to show you how to paint miniatures and terrain for D&D, Warhammer, Old Action, all the stuff which is little plastic things on tables. So as usual, if you kind of like what you're seeing, maybe think of subscribing. So we're just going to get on with it now, so off we go. So you've got your miniature, your D&D &D terrain, whatever. First off, you've got to prime it. So as we're using Citadel Color Contrast Paint today, we're going to prime it with Grey Sear Model Spray Can Paint. Now, you can use other primers, but because we're using contrast paint, I do recommend this base coat with the primer. And then we're using Contrast Wildwood. And then essentially what you're going to do is slap it on that model. Use it as if you're using a wash, because essentially Citadel contrast paint is a wash. It's the base paint and that shade. Now just apply it on nicely. If you start to pull up in places, use your brush to clean it up and spread it across the model. You'll be able to figure out as you go along because every miniature is different. If you want, take your time, do a bit by bit. Do a light layer first, you could always mix it up with contrast, land the medium, and go over it a second time. But here I've just done it the first time because I'm going for a dark water look. And there it is, you could leave your miniature, your terrain like that, because it looks like wood. But we're going to take it a little step further just to brighten it up a bit and give it a bit of oomph. First off, we're going to do a dry brush of Gorfan Brown. And we're going to do a dry brush. Now, I don't need to explain what dry brushing is, but if you don't know, essentially you put paint in your bristles, you kind of rub it into a tissue, and you've only got the excess paints left. And then you just start to dry brush against the model lightly, picking up the high edges. And I always say when dry brushing, less is more. Do a bit at a time, don't force it, because if you do dry brushing, wrong it, you can actually really tell because it leaves like smudges and it really distracts that uh, effect that you're trying to get today so this is all sped up you see me just dry brushing it in all the areas and now for that last dry brush we're doing blame blade brown now it's a bit of a lighter brown you could go for more of a kind of stone, creamy white colour, but I've gone for kind of a lighter brown because I just have that paint. So with the lighter paint, you want to go over everything again, but a lot lighter because you don't want too much of the light because you still want to keep that dark depth colour to the wood. So mainly go for the high edges on this, so like the bumps, the grooves on the wheels and on the corners and on the bolts, and then it should make the model step out a bit. Here it is done. That looks more like wood now. Those little dry brushes have really helped pick out the model and those highlights more and those kind of grooves and details. And that's it. That's a wood effect for your miniatures or terrain. Hopefully that was helpful. So hopefully you found that video helpful and people like you and you are now going to use this method and apply it to your vast ranges of plastic crack which is probably in a big pile. If you like what you see, as usual, maybe think of subscribing, it helps the channel, leave comments and that. If you want to see more painting tutorials, leave suggestions in the comments because I then see them and go, that's a cool idea and then I'll do it. So till next time, hopefully see you soon. I've been Alex, goodbye.